everyone, welcome to Cover Up! Today I am going to be reviewing a foundation from Estee Lauder and it's called Double Wear. Um, this is what it looks like. This is what she looks like. This is her. This is her. And you know, to be honest, I am not new to this product. I am not new to her. I know her very, very well. Um, she is my bottom bitch. You know, um, she holds me down. So I have one or two good things to say about this girl. So a couple of reasons why I really love this foundation. Number one, it's long lasting. Okay, that means that, guys, there is very little to no transfer at all when it comes to this product in jail. Zira, Zira. No transfer, no transfer. If you guys don't believe me, you can go watch my most recent vlog where I went out with my cousins and my sister and my aunt to the spa. I had that foundation on the whole day and it did not move. It did not move. My mascara ran, my um, brows left the building, but my foundation was like the strong girl that she is. So yeah, uh, that's number one. It's really long lasting. That is not a lie. That is not a lie. But I'd be lying if I said I don't have any complaints when it comes to this product. Um, people and myself occasionally have uh, experience oxidizing when it comes to this product. This is when the foundation turns orange. You know what I'm saying? But to be honest, on her best day, Double Wear will have you looking completely flawless and you know a lot of people always tell me when I have Double Wear on that Oh my god you have such nice skin and I tell them it's not my skin it's the makeup So yeah this is Double Wear I stand her I love her Let me guys take you through this tutorial and show you what she really is about and show you how I achieve this look ah! <laughs> Let's get it started in huh? Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started in ha. Let's get it started in here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> like I said today, we are going to be using Double Wear from Estee Lauder. Here it looks something like this. I am in the shade Rich Caramel. It's 5W2. Here we go. That's what we're going to be using today. But step one is always to apply primer first. Today I am going to be using Master Prime from Maybelline. Here we go. Let's just quickly apply that. So now that we've applied the primer on our skin, we are going to be applying the foundation. And you guys already know the drill, no color corrector, no um, concealer, nothing. Just the foundation on the spots and we'll see if it covers up, yes? And I always like to apply some setting spray on the brush or on my face before I apply the foundation. So let's see now. Okay, let's talk about acne. Let's talk about acne and bad skin and all of that. Okay, so first things first, guys. I just want to say when it comes to acne, I really feel like it's out of my control. Like, for real. Oh, guys, it's been such a journey. Like, I mean, right now, I think it's my 10th year. <laughs> now battling acne and it's just like it's too much it's too much financially and mentally it's so draining it's so draining financially i mean products are so expensive guys and uh, trying this product and then leaving it to try this product leaving it to try that product it is yeah it's 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 a lot it's a lot and also doctor's visits also on cheap like you know what I'm saying and I think like those of you who are actively trying to get rid of your acne already know what you know I'm talking about when I say that it's just so draining it's so draining and I think one of the most one of the biggest reasons it feels draining is because it feels like it's out of my control like no matter what I do 
it doesn't go away it doesn't go away all i do is just like lose money spend money on products and you know get my hopes up for this product and be disappointed because it doesn't work then get my hopes up for another product be disappointed because that doesn't work <sighs> yeah i yeah i really do feel like it's out of my control you know and it sucks it really does suck because i am doing everything in my control to try and make it better you know what i'm saying so I, yeah acne 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 and also it really does get on me mentally because it's something that i'm constantly aware of you know when you're constantly trying to fix or trying to like remedy or treat your acne you're constantly of the aware of the fact that you have acne you know and i know like it may sound silly but it's so draining it's so draining to wake up and know that oh my gosh my face is still not clear oh my god like it's so draining guys it's so draining i yeah yes double way double way double way double way double way i was kind of scared that um the shade today is not going to be a good match for my shade mm -hmm. i was kind of scared because you know during the lockdown i've gotten a little bit lighter so this is literally just one layer this is literally just one layer and already like my spots are almost non-existent so let me just apply another layer so you guys can see how buildable this coverage really is but yeah um another reason why having acne is so mentally draining is because it having a visible imperfection is literally killing my self-esteem like i cannot hide it there is nothing i can do to apart from wear makeup that's the thing and i can't wear makeup every moment of the day i can't wear makeup all over my body like i have chest acne as well and i used to have back acne right now i have some spots left or whatever and i remember there was a time when i wore a vest um like just the vest like you know tank top you know and then i was with my boyfriend at the time and my boyfriend made a comment it's like hey, when I, like these kinds of clothes aren't for people like you you know you gotta cover that shit up you know what i'm saying and that's what it feels like most of the time it feels like i need to cover up I feel like I need to cover up at every moment of the day when I wake up when I wake up and I look in the mirror my face is not clear I feel like oh my gosh I need to cover up I can't tell you how much having acne affects my self-esteem like it really affects my self-esteem it's so visible and then you're just gonna take your beauty blender and just blend the foundation you know to get rid of any streaks from the foundation bro but yeah like i'm saying when it comes to like my self-esteem even like on my best day you know what i'm saying even when i feel like the baddest bitch <laughs> i can still see so many imperfections when i look in the mirror and it's so visible and i just feel like i can't run away from it you know what i'm saying i feel like i can't run away from it i feel like it's everywhere i look when i look at my chest is there when i look at my neck it's there when i look at my face is there when i look at my back it's there and it's like always there oh my gosh it's like always there all the time and i can't get a break the only time i get a break is when i do my makeup that's the only time and i am not about to spend my whole life wearing makeup every single day you know just to make me feel better about myself i am kind of low maintenance you know i like to be chilled i like to really be relaxed at home like i i don't i don't want to be scared to put my face in the pillow when i lay down on the couch because i have makeup on i don't want to be you know i want to be relaxed i want to be relaxed when i'm at home even when i'm at work i i really want to work in a relaxed environment that's why sometimes when i go to work actually not even sometimes most times when i go to work i don't put on makeup i don't I'm not going to lie to you i really don't put on makeup and sometimes i wish that i would sometimes i really wish that i i would and i could you know wear makeup every single day 24 hours until my skin clears up but that's not practical <laughs> that's definitely not practical or something that i would be into even if it was possible that's that's just not practical for my lifestyle you know what i'm saying so it is what it is man 
But yeah, as you can see, my face is spot free. And I didn't use color corrector. Oh, this is just some hot water and some lemon. My water intake is really terrible around winter time. So I have warm water instead of cold water to keep up with my water intake. <laughs> but let's go back to the foundation. So, I mean, the match is, is a little off, you know? I don't and I don't know if it's the match or if the foundation is oxidizing but I do think that it's the match it may be the match it may be the match because I did say that I kind of like went a shade or two lighter um, during lockdown because you know I'm not going outside but don't worry about it it's completely salvageable we are going to continue with the rest of this beat and see how it looks by the end of it but i'm pretty sure i can fix this with some concealer and some powder i'm pretty sure we can get it back to the way i like it to be but apart from that as you guys can clearly see the coverage i like double way i like like yeah cover like this is why it's one of my favorite foundations because honestly for a girl like me with a whole bunch of pimples and spots on my face, I don't have time to play. When I put something on, I need it to cover up everything. I need it to create like a blank fucking canvas. So yeah, let's continue. Okay, so next we are going to be doing the brows. Um, you're going to need your spoolie just to brush your hair. So yeah, where was I? Where was I talking about... <coughs> acne talking about acne even having this conversation right now is annoying the hell out of me because you can imagine in the past 10 11 years how many times i've had this conversation you know with myself and, ah! <gasps> other people <laughs> yeah cut the cameras <laughs> cut the cameras okay guys i dropped my sharpener and just built all the shavings on the floor but i'll clean that up when i'm done <laughs> let's good see you let's just sharpen our pencil i use a pencil to do my eyebrows this one is from miss signature it's in the shade chocolate it was around like 20 rand definitely affordable so yeah another reason why like having acne is really killing my self-esteem is is because of society <laughs> it's because of literal society like you guys cannot help but let me know that you know when you see that i have acne you can't help it like if five minutes go by and i'm in the same area as someone who does not have acne they cannot shut the hell up for those five minutes like they, they're just exploding to let me know that, that they see my acne and that i should know that they see my acne and they feel like i should be doing something about my acne <laughs> it's it's so ridiculous it's one thing to like you know have your own self-esteem battles with yourself and to know that the things about yourself that you don't really like and would like to change and all of that but it's a whole other thing when now you have to add on the fact that you know other people see and other people notice you know other people can see you know it it, it hurts it hurts and i don't think people really realize it i think people are selfish you know people are selfish and they think that they have to say something or that they have to try and help and to be honest i can't even feel like it comes from a good place because most of the time people don't even take the minute to ask you like oh girl what's your skin type or oh what are you using right now they just it just seems to me like you guys want me to know that you see my acne you know what i'm saying it's like it, i don't know how to explain this but if you genuinely care about me or about what i'm going through or about you know helping me with something i would expect you to ask me how i am you know what i'm using you know i don't expect anyone to just come up to me and be like oh i know this doctor who can fix that you know what i'm saying <laughs> that's really not the kind of first impression I want to have of someone or that I want to have on someone. I don't want our first encounter to be me knowing that, oh my gosh, this person just sees all my imperfections and you know, I don't, I don't want that. I don't like that. I really don't. I, I, 
I really don't. And I know some of you are sitting there going, oh my gosh, um, you guys are being so sensitive or whatever. But at the end of the day, guys, remember, if I've had acne for 10 years, right? How many of these conversations, how many of these um, interactions have I had? How many yous do you think I've been in contact with? You get what I'm saying? Like, you're not the first person to pull me out from me just minding my business to tell me about this or that doctor. You're not the first person. Nor are you the first person today. <laughs> Guys, you think it's a joke? It's not a joke. It's real. This is real. I have multiple people telling me every single day about how you know i should get this fixed or i should use this or i should use that and to be honest because acne is not desirable and because acne is an imperfection you know all you are telling me all you are making me feel is that i'm not perfect i'm not beautiful i'm not you know what i'm saying it, it's not a good thing it's not a good feeling you're not helping me you're really not helping me and just to kind of clean up my brows and my brow shape i am going to be using this nyx can't stop won't stop concealer in the shade golden honey so yeah just plop a little bit on my arm there and then pick that up and put it take my blending sponge my beauty blender and just blend out the concealer i'm sorry guys i had to really concentrate there i had to really concentrate because you know like when it comes to brows one mistake chuffle <laughs> for real but yeah um like i was saying about people who come up and give you all types of advice you did not ask for it really is like super 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 inappropriate i am not even gonna lie to you guys lately i've been blending the top of my eyebrow with my foundation brush instead of the beauty blender don't ask me why guys don't ask me why sometimes you'll stumble across something and it works real good so that's what you do so that's what i'm doing <laughs> So, fine, I find it extremely inappropriate because like I've been saying the whole time, I've been dealing with this for a very, very long time. So, you know, you're not the first person to come up to me and say this, like, whatever it is that you are recommending to me, I've probably already tried it and, or, and to be honest, why should I try something that a stranger is um, suggesting? Why? They didn't give me a skin analysis. They're just in my business. Y'all are just in my business. Y'all didn't even take the time to figure out what really works for me, what doesn't. You are just literally in my business. And that's not nice. I mean, do you really think that my acne is something that I'm proud of, is something that gives me, you know, great esteem? Do you really think that? Do you really, really think that? So how do you think I feel? How do you think it feels when multiple people across your entire life keep coming to you on a daily basis and just reminding you that you have all this acne? How do y'all think that feels? Just shut your mouth. Just too loud to do. Okay, do me one favor. When you see a person with acne, just shut your, just hold your back. Eat your words, throw them. Don't suggest anything. Let them go on with their business and you go on with yours. Just say hi and pass on. Tell them they look pretty even. Just don't say nothing about their acne. Please, please. So let me just quickly do this other brow. 
Guys, I want today's tutorial to be nice, short, and sweet, hey? I know I've been giving you guys long ass videos, but you know, I'm trying here. I'm trying. I'm trying. And it's not easy, because I talk a lot. But I'm trying. So let's finish up this brow, and then we will continue with the rest of the rant and the rest of the face. doing your brows okay like I don't know how you guys get them to look exactly the same but I always have one brow that's like a sister and I have one brow that's like a cousin <laughs> I think you know it's okay if the other brow looks kind of you know and the other brow looks you know I see my twins you guys I see my twins and like you know perfection is that's that's hard that shit is hard that shit is damn near impossible you know what I'm saying so be using yourself, man. Be using yourself. Try to make them look as related as possible, but you know, you can only do so much. You can only do so much. of this beat and to contour my face I am going to be using the Miss Signature Natural Beauty Highlight and Contour Palette um, as you can see up oh, the shade in the middle back to the red guys like it's it's yeah no the unsolicited advice i just i just wish it would stop i just wish it would stop i don't need it i don't want it i don't ask for it keep it to your motherfucking self haha <laughs> bro these people they will literally just disturb your peace to let you know that eh, you have acne like bitch i know i know i saw it this morning i know <sighs> i went to court to file some paperwork and while I was there, I was waiting for some other lady to come back to me on something. And this other lady who just happened to be passing by me, passed me now. And then she backtrack. She look at me and she comes to me and she's like, hi, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm good. I just saw you as I was passing here. I was like, mm-hmm. So I thought this lady was supposed to tell, was about to tell me something important or was coming in to like give me the paperwork that I had asked for. No, this lady was starting up this little conversation with me just so she could give me the contact of a dermatologist that she knows. She literally was like, hey, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm good. She's like, oh, I see you have spots on your face. I was like, But anyway, she's like, apparently he does really good work and, you know, maybe he'll be able to help you. Now, what's the problem with this scenario? Number one, I did not ask her for any advice. Number two, I mean, yes, you know, a doctor is a good suggestion and all of that, but who's going to pay for it, sis? Are you going to pay for it? Are you going to give me a free consultation? Are you going to give me money for the consultation? I mean, who's going to pay for it? Are you? Are you going to pay for that consultation, sis? Are you? Are you going to pay for my medicine? Will you? Will you pay for the face products that the doctor suggests? Will you? Will you get me that medication? No, you won't. You will not. You won't even put me on your medical aid. You won't. But here you are, <laughs> giving me the names of doctors that I should go to. because they're like a lot of things I'd like to do but I can't do I can't do because I'm I'm just not confident enough in the skin you know what I'm saying I'm just 
I'm just not confident enough in the skin to do those things and I will just not do them period like the other day I shot a wash day routine and obviously ka wash day you can't have a full face of makeup like that's not how it works you can't have you know when you're in and out of the shower you can't have makeup on and all that kind of stuff it was super fun and all of that and I recorded it so like the next day I look at the footage because I want to start editing the video and I was just like there is no way <laughs> what? Yo, guys, all I saw were just spots, spots everywhere in every frame. Whenever I got closer to give you guys a look at the texture, it's just spots. Oh, oh my gosh, I couldn't, I couldn't. So I just closed my laptop and I remember I just went to bed. <laughs> and, you know, I didn't look at that footage for at least another week. And this past, I did it again. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm a klutz. <laughs> So yeah, when I looked at the footage again uh, this past weekend because I wanted to like, you know, I was clearing my footage and all of that and I just remembered that damn, I never did anything with the video that I recorded. So I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and edit it, put it out and I was just like, there's just no way. There's just no way I'm putting this out. There is just no way. There is no freaking way. I was just like, no. That's what we're not gonna do. So I deleted the footage. And I feel defeated because for a very long time I told myself, you know what, I'm gonna wait until my skin is clearer to do a wash day video. And um, my skin hasn't really cleared up, but I have my confidence and self-esteem, especially in uh, me being comfortable and my acne has grown a lot. So, you know, I told myself, okay, uh, this is the next stepping stone, this is the next, um, you know, milestone of confidence level, self-esteem levels, if you can put this out, you're good! I'm not good! <laughs> I thought, I thought I was good, but I'm not good, so y'all not gonna see that footage. So, before we continue with our little chat, I am going to be using this translucent powder. I'm gonna be baking with it today. It is from Signature. Another thing that I'm not able to do, which breaks my heart, is that on vacation, I'm not able to go bare skin. And that breaks my heart. How the fuck do you guys, or how the fuck do I expect myself to swim with makeup on? Like, when I go on vacation, I want to be in bikinis, I want to be in the beach, I want to be in the water, I want to be relaxing and maxing and cooling. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be beating my face. I don't want to be touching up my makeup. I just don't want to do it. And I feel like I have to because someone will say something. You know what I'm saying? Someone will say something. I mean, this past December when I went on my family holiday, I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. If I'm going to the beach, I am not wearing makeup. Fuck it. I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it. It's just not practical. No, is it me? So I'm not doing it. And I didn't do it. And I had the time of my life, you know, being in and out of that water as I please. I had the time of my motherfucking life, child. I had the time of my life. I really had the time of my life, I'm not gonna lie to you. And then, you know, I put out my vacation vlog and of course, someone had to say something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, even when I get the courage to put all that shit aside and like, I'm gonna live my life anyway, you know, I'm just reminded by someone else all the time all the time. I couldn't him, I couldn't lo him, Joe. I couldn't lo him without someone saying something. I just, please stop. Just shut your mouth. Shut your bloody mouth. Unless if you're like a dermatologist and trying to give, and you are trying to give me like a free session, then please don't shut your mouth. Please. Leave your number in the comments even, please. Next up, I am going to be using blush. Blush, blush, blush. This one is from Essence, it's called The Blush and it's in the shade Bespoke. I'm not gonna put on a lot. It has like a 
like a really nice shimmer to it. I think that's why I like it so much. It has like a really nice shimmer to it. So most of the time we use it as bronzer. It's really cute. And because this is a simple look, I am just going to be applying brown eyeshadow to my eye. And today I am going to be using the same shade that I use to um, contour my face from the Miss Signature Contouring Palette. And I'm just going to plop it on my eyelid and call it a day. But obviously as someone who's actively trying to um, get rid of their acne, you know, like... The comments are the least of my worry, you know, I mean they hurt and they're just not appreciated nor are they welcomed But that's the last thing on my mind to be honest like that is really is the last thing in my mind And I think that's why lately I've really been toying with the idea of Going to see a dermatologist, you know, I've really been toying with that idea I, I really have, I'm not gonna lie to you guys because honestly I'm tired, I'm tired, my skin hasn't gotten really better or hasn't gotten, I mean it has gotten a little worse but you know it hasn't gotten better in the past year and a half I think so I'm just tired, I'm tired of trying new products, I'm tired of, I'm tired of being patient, I'm tired of hearing people's mouths, I'm tired of covering it up, I'm tired of feeling like I have to cover it up, I'm just tired and I always told myself that the day I go back to the dermatologist or the day I go back to bankrupting myself to clear my skin via the dermatologist and all those crazy fees should be a day where I am just, I'm just tired of doing it myself. So right now I really do feel like I'm tired of doing it myself so I'm really considering. I, I when I say really considering, I high key mean my mind is made up. My only issue is that, yo guys. As someone who's had acne for the past 10 years, I've been to I think three or four different dermatologists and I always told myself that you know what, the day I go back there is the day when not only do I have the means to go back there but I don't have the energy to try and do it myself anymore and that's that's how I feel right now. I don't. I don't. Like, I've been taking really good care of my skin. As always, because obviously I have acne. So if I don't take care of my skin, it will look worse. <sighs> but honestly, like, I don't have the energy right now. I don't have the energy to be doing masks every day. To be doing this and this and this and this and this and this and this. To be trying out this enzyme, that acid, that this, that this. I do not have the time nor do I have the spirit for it like I'm, I'm tired child I'm tired I really am so I think I am just gonna <laughs> outsource that function and I'm just gonna take my little ass right on over to the doctor's office and get it checked out you know hopefully I can find a doctor that's really affordable and most importantly one that deals with dark skin if I can find a black doctor a black woman Yo, I'll be so happy. I'll be so happy. So yeah, let's use some highlighter now. I'm using Wow Shimmer from Discam with this kind of cute brush. This is from Fashini, the old woman collection. I love it so much. Like whenever I use it, I feel like I'm Harry Potter. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> it's very cute. Okay, so yeah, let's get to it. I really love this highlighter. It's so affordable when I got it as an 80 rand. And the pigment is not only shiny but it's a really nice gold. So I, I, I really am thinking of going to the doctor. And I really hope I can find an affordable one because chair in this pandemic. And I hate that I'm even thinking about going to a doctor right now because you know we're dead smack in the middle of a pandemic and the last thing I should be doing is spending money you know what I'm saying especially with all these companies closing down and you know that's the last thing I should be trying to do spend some money but you're high and cut telling me 
and it's really I'm tired and I've had enough so I'm gonna take my ass on over to that office so yeah guys if you know any black lady <laughs> sorry if you guys know any black lady dermatologist around Pretoria plop their names down in the comments you know help me help me now I'm asking you see before I wasn't asking for you guys help but now I'm asking if you guys know any dermatologists who are really good and who just happen to be a woman and black please put their details down in the comments and who happens to be in Pretoria let's do that who happens to be in Pretoria as well actually you know what scrap that even if they're not in Pretoria put down the put down their um, numbers and contact details in the comments just make sure you put the location next to you know their name so people know who is for who and who's not for who because the last thing I want is for you to give me the name of someone who's in Joburg I'm not in Joburg I'm in Pretoria so write the location as well as the contact details and yeah help us help us so i like to draw back on my beauty spots because you know i don't like the acne but i like the meaty spots so let's put that back on there And then let's put on some setting spray to set everything all nice in place. Today I am going to be using this one from W Beauty, Wallet's Beauty. It retails for I think 130 rand if I'm not sure. Everything I use is super affordable guys. Everything I use is super affordable so purchase also. And while that is drying, I am going to be using this Estee Lauder mascara. It's called Sumptuous Extreme. Sumptuous. I have no idea what that means, but it says Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara. Oh, that's cute. Y'all see that? Very pretty. Very pretty. I hope I don't mess this up. I always mess up my lashes. Like if you look closer at my makeup, you'll always see some mascara on my <laughs> on my eyelid. Don't judge me. Do I look like a makeup artist to you? time I put on like really good mascara I feel like wow I need lashes but also at the same time I wear glasses and I like to sleep with my face in the pillow so that's not gonna work that's not practical for me I'm a practical girl God, this mascara is not playing games, honey. Yeah, sumptuous. Girl, they got that So let's finish off our lips. Oh, this liner is from Signature. Um, it's in the shade Coffee. I really love this liner. I'm not gonna lie to you.
Today I am going to be using this MAC Lippy. It's in the shade Snob. If I remember correctly, yeah, it's in the shade Snob. I'm just going to be using it to add some color. And I'm just going to be using my finger to kind of like blend out the lipstick and the lip liners. And then to finish off, we are going to be using Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. This is my little trick for keeping my wand clean. I put the lip gloss on my finger. <laughs> but yeah, um, we are done with today's look and let's just go over the Double Wear Estee Lauder Foundation. Here we go. As you can see, the coverage is amazing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people tend to say that um, this makeup is a little bit heavy, but you know, I don't really feel it. And because the coverage is so amazing, you don't have to use that much, you know, to look flawless. So yeah, I really enjoy this foundation. This is my go-to. This is my number one foundation. Hashtag double wear or nothing. I really love it. And because a little goes a long way, it lasts a really, 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 really long time. Like I've had this since last year, I think June or July, somewhere there. And there's still so much. There's still so much in here. So it's really worth it. Yes, it is expensive, but it, it is really worth it. It'll last you a long time, that I can promise you. And yeah, it's a good buy, good investment. I give it all the yeses. I give it all the yeses. I know a lot of people like to complain about it oxidizing or whatever, but... Uh, can you go on next? Get double way. Next. So yeah, we are done with today's uh, tutorial. We are done with today's review. I will see you next time on Covered Up with our next foundation. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to join the family. Subscribe, guys. Join the notification gang. And while you are here, don't forget to share the video. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it from me. I really hope you guys are doing well at home during the lockdown. We are about to ease into level three and the president is going to let us off the house but i am begging and pleading with you guys don't leave if you don't have to let's all just mentally and personally stay on level five okay okay please just stay your ass at home just do lie do lie don't go nowhere don't go don't socialize don't do nothing watch my videos and stay your ass at home that's it that's all i want but yeah, until my next post, until my next tea time, until my next covered up, until my next upload. Stay safe, stay your ass in the house, and I will see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>